The global positioning system. GPS. Finally, Bateman has all right, my name is Caesar Lees. Uh, welcome to my drawing Enhanced tutorial. GPWS still uses uh, a radar altimeter to read the ground below. YouTube. So I, um, basically what I'm going to show you guys to today is I'm going to demo a the with the sketch data, on Joe doing the like a pinup style character. I'll be using a new script now, which is basically, I believe, uh, Here it is, in nine action, inch over Arizona. by 12 inches. The screen displays so the rough. Terrain. And Red I'll be using a uh, prism color. Sort of in um, I like these for some reason. Though. With the they, the display there's something about them that when you sketch, they just the have screen, a, a character about the, the line. Right? Right? So I like these a lot. These are uh, color erase or uh, uh, any sort of like a soft pencil, was uh, like a two. Um, so basically, I'll be using this basically I'll be doing a light sketch of the pose using gestures. I basically what I did beforehand was I kind of flipped through some magazines to kind of find a pose that I like, and I'll just kind of tweak it a little bit so to make it different. So here we go. Alright, so basically um, what I'm going to be doing, I thought I'd do something different and I'm going to uh, do a little uh, mashing between the uh, character styles. I'll be doing like a Adam Hughes style pinup with a Pokemon character and I figured I'd do uh, the Jesse from uh, Pokemon. And if anybody who knows Adam Hughes knows, uh, Adam Hughes has a certain uh, style to his drawings, and there's just, he has a, I'd say a humor about him that tells a story, so we'll, we'll just go ahead and start. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to get the gesture of the character. Um, basically the gesture is the essence of how they're standing, you know, basically it's the torso line, think of it as the up and down of the spine, so, let's start here, and let me get something a little bit, get a nice hard board, so, good thing about um, wanting to draw something, just make sure you have a nice steady board to draw on so your paper doesn't warp or bend. So. so we're just getting the, the line first. And this is basically where her head will be. Around here. And here's your neck. Um, the other thing, um, too, that I would um, say helps me is to figure out the positioning of the shoulders and the hips. Um, basically. That'll basically be the the hips right here, and this will be the shoulder, sort of like the collarbone of the character. So she's basically got that feminine pinup pose with the hips. The thing to remember or for me when I'm drawing pinups is I always think of it as sort of like, you can think of it as sort of like a rectangle or you could do like an upside down triangle. 
Um, so she's basically got that like 60s type of uh, uh, body, kind of like uh, a James Bond femme fatale type girl. And I'm going to make her very well endowed, sort of like Adam Hughes stuff. So she's very well endowed. <laughs> Okay. So basically, this is the line down the center of her body. And here are her hip bones. This is basically, I don't know what you'd call that area, but basically, like if you would be wearing underwear, it'd be where the leg and the hips meet. And she's basically got that sort of uh, hips, legs crossed type of thing going on. I try and go as light as I can. If I go too dark too soon, then it gets really hard to erase my mistakes. Um, the other thing too is when you're drawing always try and make sure that you're seeing the whole picture um, sometimes if you just focus on one little area you tend to forget everything else so. and I thought about trying to do something a little bit Adam Hughes like um, if any of you guys ever seen his drawings, he's always got his characters doing something that's provocative and kind of teasing. So I'm going to try and think of something. Well, actually, I already thought of it. Hopefully I can pull it off. Uh, since the pose that I'm using is not readily available to me. Sort of tweak it. There is a second clue. A piece of metal debris matches the cut in the top. The other thing to I'd recommend is when you're drawing, don't be afraid to draw through the model. Basically, what it means is don't be afraid to draw like, okay, so let's see where um, the backside of her hips would be. Like her buttocks would be somewhere back here. So then the back part of the leg would be somewhere right there. That way I'll know if I'm drawing the leg here. And she's got her legs like that. I'll know that if I didn't put something here, I forgot something. So. I mean, a lot of her body type is a bit exaggerated, but this is a sort of a cartoon anime style pinup. So. Okay, so. I wish I would have had a bigger pad, I'd be able to fit her feet in, but at least she has tall boots, which are, from what I believe, pretty, like, mid-thigh. So it would be somewhere around right here. Sometimes I like to draw circles just to kind of remind me of how a person's leg actually is. And this would be the, the other legs right here, or the, the back leg. So, this would be... 